Ever wondered how to create a cascade drape? Well, don't you worry your pretty little heads, darlings, because Professor Nick is here to show you. Guess what time it is? It's Fashion School with Nick Ferrios. It's in session. <laughs> Here I am flanked by two cascade goddesses. Two examples from my Nikolaiki line. Here's one in silk zebeline. You notice the cascade drape right here in the bottom section. And then I love doing a cascade drape that's very dramatic. And this is in the satin, silk satin organza. So you notice the cascade. This is very typical of what a cascade drape is. And in fact, I have some sketches to show you too. Look, um, ooh, who's that? It's her! Yes, this is one of my sketches. And there's another version. So, yes, I never met a cascade I did not like. All right, so now that we know what a cascade drape is supposed to look like, I'm gonna show you how to make one. Okay, so the basic fundamental for a cascade drape is that you start out with a circle, with a full circle. Now I have to tell you that even through years and years looking at pattern books, draping books, and experimenting and doing a lot of cascade drapes, it really took me a long time to figure out the right way and a great way to do it. And so here I am, that's why I want to make this video, to show you guys how to do it. So you kind of skip that, right? You skip all the years and years that I had to go through. All right, so let's start with this. First of all, like I said, it's a full circle. You can start with a full circle. So if you cut out a full circle in the fabric, just like this, with an opening, here's the circle right there, and it's kind of a full circle, you can kind of get this design. You also do that with a half circle. So these are different versions of what the pattern will look like for the cascade drape. This is a half one, this is a full one. But here's the trick. Notice how it's square and square, it's straight. So you have the straight here, straight here. This line right there, that's this, the circle, all right? So this shape gives you this, got it? All right, the next thing is this cascade drape. It's kind of like, it looks a little bit like a scroll, kind of, and notice that then this is curved, but this remains straight, but there's a circle still, and it's still kind of a circle shape, and you can do a full one or a half one. See, kind of a half circle, but it goes straight, and then it curls out. Now this shape gives you that or that as well. Okay, so here's how you drape it. You ready? I've cut the circle out, see? Right there, in muslin. So I have it right here, and one side of it, it's, if you can tell, it's straight. Do you see that? And then the other side is curved. You can see that, right? All right, so you cut that out in your muslin. Get a big piece of muslin, okay? And then you do the drape. So I have my form right here. Hi, darling. And I'm gonna start right here at the shoulder with the straight section. Do you see that? And then use that middle half curved section to start pinning, pinning on the form. And notice already the cascade starts shaping itself. Do you see that? And then I'm gonna continue down just like this just down the neckline and then right here. And you pin, pin, pin this area. Let me show you guys so you guys can see. Do you see this whole area right here? This is that circle. You pin that whole circle, straighten it out, and you pin all the way down here, here, and then I'm gonna add one little final pin there. And ooh, look what we got here. We got the cascade drape right there. Now, if you don't want that many cascade drapes, then you can get rid of some of these. And what that does, you can clip that in, pin that in, and you're closing the circle in. Got it? Now, one final bit of advice for you guys. When doing these cascade drapes, cut out little minis. <laughs> and so instead of wasting the fabric first, cut these out first. Cut little minis. This is a full one. And see what that shape looks like. See, when you have this little mini, here's a mini me. See, you can kind of tell. See? Look. You get that cascade shape right there. Look at that, hi. So you cut out the little minis first to see what kind of shape you want, and then cut out the actual version. So you go from this muslin cascade to couture cascade, darling. Thanks for tuning in to Fashion School with Nick Varios. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Make sure to get my new book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com.